Hello fellow Asian non nations today I'm going to be reconstructing my 34.00 official FMC mean. So I got this at my most recent competition, which was yesterday actually. And like, I'm pretty darn happy with this FMC mean because for one thing, I finally got a me an official mean that actually represents my global. And two, my summer ranks literally plummeted with this mean because um, now I'm what, 12th in the world for average and 10th in the world for singles. So I'm just extremely happy about this mean and so in honor of that, I'm going to reconstruct all of my solves. Alright, so my first solve was a 37, which I'm not too happy with because I had an insertion. I had a 3 edges insertion, which canceled 0 since I had pretty much no time to do that insertion. So I just pretty much inserted the first thing that I saw. So I'm not that happy about this solve. But anyway, so here's a scramble. It's up on the screen if you want to follow along. I didn't see anything that was that good on this scramble, so I decided to switch to the inverse. So I have this here. And now, uh, I can I see this pair and this edge that matches with it, so I can actually pair them pretty easily with U two B U two, and I also uh, happen to pair uh, solve this edge, so I can just do an L and I'll solve a four move two by two by two. So here I experimented around. Um, I decided to do a C flop continuation. It was kind of weird, but it worked. It worked pretty well. So pretty much, I just inserted these two cross edges with um, F prime U R prime F like this. And now um, I have these two pairs. So actually I noticed that um, this is a pretty cool multi-sliding trick. You can actually do R, L prime, U prime, R prime, L, and that would actually solve both of these. So that was an entire F12 minus one in 13 moves. So here I don't have any edges, but I switched over. I just I was just playing around a bunch. There's no really major reason I switched over. It was the main reason why I really was to like, just to play around a bit more. So. Uh, I decided to insert this pair like this, uh, U prime, R U prime, R prime, and then I sledged, sledgehammered it in. So now I got this OLL, and I switched over one more time, and this is what was pretty cool. I got this OLL. So pretty much all I had to do was um, solve this OLL in six moves, uh, U prime, and that solved three edges in twenty-seven moves. So after that, I found an insertion. I just I I only had like ten minutes left when I finish that skeleton so really i had no time i i'm really slow at insertion so i just inserted some random 10 move commentators so that was a 37. okay so my next solve was a 30 which i'm actually really happy with despite some sheer luck so right off the bat you can already see this one move square which can be made with the b prime now after this um i just there was a lot of options i switched i did a bunch of stuff and the thing i ended up settling on was just doing a was just finishing off this 2x2x2 two by, two by, two by doing a D2, L prime, and then U2. So that uh, made a 4 move 2x2x2. Two by two by two. Now after this, um, I see I, I made this pair. So that that was pretty much the main reason why I did a 2x2 two two like this because I saw this it, uh, created this pair. So this pair could actually easily be turned into a square by matching it up with this edge. So I can do B, R2. That would make a square. And actually, I can turn this into a pseudo 2x2x3 two by, two by, by doing just a B. So now this is a pseudo 2x2x3 two by, two by with a pre-move of B prime. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and do the scramble. Pre-move of B prime. I'll do the scramble. Like this. And then I'll do the moves that I've just finished. Uh, like that. Alright. So after this, this is pretty lucky. I, I got another pair. So, <laughs> this is so lucky. Okay, so I can create F12 minus 1 like this U2, R2, U prime, R2, and that paired this up again. So, that was just horrendously lucky. So, uh, I played around with insertions. I actually spent a really long time trying to find a, the best way to insert this. So, I ended up settling on uh, just using a slight term to insert this. So, now I get this. Um, I can actually. There's actually multiple ways I can do this. I can just do my regular OLL that'll leave me with the U perm. Uh, I don't know why, there's no specific reason why I decided to do this. I just did a regular anti soon, and that just left me with three edges. It didn't cancel any moves. I don't know why I really decided to do that. I guess since I was somewhat running out of time, I just tried to do the easiest thing. So, does that make sense? So that was three edges. So that was 24 to three edges. And actually, so I inserted at the very end of my skeleton. So this is so funny. Okay, so I do the scramble. So pretty much what happened was I was just doing the regular scramble and I was just testing my skeleton out to make sure that it worked. So I did this. 
I finished, so I, I solved my skeleton, like this, and so I got this, so I just played around, and actually I realized that uh, this commutator right here, it's 10 moves, that cancels 4 moves, so that's 6 moves, so 24 plus 6 is a 30 move solution, so that was pretty cool, and that actually happened to be optimal, so pretty lucky there. Alright, so my final solve is a 35, which I'm, uh, I mean, it was the, it was a, just a perfect start, but after that, like, in my opinion, everything sucked. I couldn't find anything good after that. So, pretty much, I don't know why I didn't see, okay, I don't know, okay, so, uh, there's, a, there's an easy square which I can make with R prime D2, but I didn't see that. Actually, what I did was I inserted, I made this square by doing, uh, B, L2, B prime like that. And after that, that's actually a pretty easy continuation to a 2x2x2 two by, two by, two by just doing R'D2. So that's a 2x2x2 two by two by two in 5 moves. After that, uh, <laughs> this happened, but for some reason I switched. I don't. I guess I overlooked this. I didn't see it. Or maybe I did, I just switched, but I don't really remember noticing this. So I switched, and then I got this, which is pretty similar. So I, I did B'L'F, prime, prime prime so that is a 9 move 2x2x3. Two by two by and now this is where stuff gets extremely lucky so i switched back and <laughs> just look at this okay there's this giant block thing and then i could i could make a square like this with b prime and u2 so that makes an f2 on minus one in 11 moves so two by two by three was nine moves two more moves to make an entire f2 on minus one so here i switched yet again um <laughs> This is what I hate about the solve because I was literally playing around with it as much as I could possibly do. I mean, there was not much EO done and like I couldn't really do much at all. So really, this is what I was forced to do. So basically, I just kind of did C flop from here. Uh, I solved this F2 L pair like this. And then that actually canceled into this OL like this. And then that left me with three corners, which is an A perm. So after that, so that was 28 to three corners. And I ended up canceling only one, so that was that was the really unlucky part of the solve. So really, it was it ended up being a thirty-five, and uh, I actually plugged it into insertion finder, and thirty-five was optimal. So that was unfortunate, but I mean, thirty-five is not the worst thing in the world, but it's not the best thing either. So I mean, I'm kind of mixed feelings about the solve. Alright, so that's all for my uh, 34.00 official FMC mean reconstructions. So, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video, and that's really all I have to say, so goodbye.